News for your health and well-being and reports of a so-called trained virus. Think of that, training the virus. And it's been intentionally sprayed on the food that you eat. Now follow here, it's part of a new FDA plan to combat listeria in packaged meats. A viral spray designed to eat the listeria bacteria. And it's all going on on your bologna. It may open up a new can of worms for folks with food allergies. With me now, Dr. Holly Phillips, general internist here in New York. All right, this sounds like something from like all the current affair. That's There's bacteria sounds. on your food and it's going to kill you. Beware. It sounds just horrible, but unfortunately it's true. Listeria is a bacteria. It's most common in unpasteurized uh, dairy products and in prepared meats. Things like cold cuts, hot dogs, this sort of thing. A listeria can colonize these meats and can make us very, very sick. Last year, about five to six hundred Americans died of listeria poisoning um, from from meat products. Now, I just read here in the trusty teleprompter that they spray this bacteria on the food. Then they have to put something on the food to eat it. Why is there an entire, I don't know, digestive process going on on my food? Well, you know, it, it, there is something that seems very backwards about this. Today. Very backwards. I would, I would prefer that we prevent the bacteria from getting on our meat to begin with, rather than killing the bacteria once it's on the meat product. It definitely feels like we're approaching this in a backwards fashion. The FDA has said that this actually is effective and will likely um, get FDA approval. What it is, a back Bacteriophages are actually bacteria-eating viruses, um, which you can create this cocktail, you spray it on the meat, and these viruses eat the bacteria. That's gross. Um, and so then the bacteria doesn't end up in our system. It sounds really horrible. I would much prefer that sort of in the meat industry there were more hygienic um, processing and, and, and ways to raise livestock just to prevent the bacteria from being there in the first place. Okay, you got a three-year-old. You want to take the three-year-old out to Texas Stadium, let him have his first hot dog there in St. Louis or somewhere. Is it safe to do that? Should parents be thinking twice about this? Well, again, listeria, it's... it's relatively uncommon um, to affect healthy people. The people who are at highest risk are pregnant women, the elderly, people who have an immune system problem, people with cancer or with HIV, mm. this sort of thing. A generally healthy individuals, healthy children, will be able to process this bacteria and not become sick from it. So if you cook the hot dog, if you cook it thoroughly, is it okay? Well, cooking does decrease the risk of having Oof. listeria poisoning, but it's not 100%. And, and when, what about cold cuts? I mean, we were talking just a minute ago in the commercial break about this argument for grandma's, I mean, Nana's fried bologna sandwich. <laughs> exactly. I mean, do you need to fry the bologna or the turkey well, before you eat it? Well, actually, heating the meat and, and cooking it thoroughly will decrease the risk of getting listeria poisoning if the meat is, is colonized with listeria. Um, it, but it's still, it's not 100%. Mm. This bacteriophage spray is supposed to kill the uh, listeria you completely. Know, you know what you do? You put the bologna in a cast iron skillet. You put maybe a half tablespoon of butter in there. You wait until it just sort of rolls up it's like this. It's got to be round. It's got to roll exactly. up. And then, you, and then you put it on a piece of bread, and then you put a slice of American cheese in there, and then you put that in the cast iron skillet, and you, know, you push down on it, and you get the butter and the fat, and mm, you're you ready know, to go. Like Shep, my grandmother used to make it with tomato and mayonnaise. That's the that's only good. way it could be done. That's good. That's tomato delicacy. doesn't have any fat in it, though. No, no, well, that's it's a good problem. for you. <laughs> Dr. Holly, it's great to see you. Great to be here, Don't as eat always. meat. Just, I'll, just... I'll try and avoid it. Yeah, breathing is plenty.